Hello, my name is Mark Plunkett and I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to create a, a front cover of your digital publishing with a video input. Alright, so I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to use my existing preset, which is using a web intent, a size 1024 by 768 pixels. Margins 44 top, 44 bottom, right 6. This is because of the navigation bars and the scroll bars. I'm going to click OK. The margins are ready for me to place my video. I'm going to place the video. I'm going to be using the StarWars.mp4 for demo purposes. I'm going to load the video onto the page waiting for the poster to appear. All right, it's ready. I'm going to align this in the center. All right, I'm going to change the image of this poster by going over to the media panel. By looking at the poster here from current frame, the current frame we're looking at is on top. I click refresh, it will appear exactly as what I see on top here. And thus, black. All right, this is all for media panel. I'm going back to Overlay Creator to change the effects. All right, Overlay Creator is new in InDesign. It's together with the digital publishing suite, which you can download from Adobe for free. All right, once you've installed it, you have the Overlay Creator and the Folio Builder. But for now, I'm going to be talking about audio and video. So inside the Overlay Creator, you'll see that under the audio and video section, you have your video, autoplay. Yes, I want it to play automatically when the page comes in. I don't need the delay, no full screen, no controller, just autoplay. Once you're ready, we can just right click on this. I'm going to lock this. I'm going to create a new layer behind the video layer. All right, so new layer. This one, I'm going to call this as the video layer. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to bring it below the video layer. I'll call this as Splash. Alright, I'm going to switch the visibility off for the video. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place two images onto the Splash layers. Which is Start and the End. I'm going to load it onto the page. Alright, I'm going to align them. I'm going to move it to the corner of the page. Alright, I'm going to resize it so that it will be full page. Alright, once you're ready, I'm going to minimize layers panel for a while. I'm going to look at object states panel. In here, I'm going to create a new object state. You will see the two states appearing. State 1, state 2, the start and the end. I'm going to just name this object state as a video splash. All right, so once you're ready, I'm going back to overlay creator. Once you have created an object state itself, overlay creator will automatically change the section here to slideshow. I'm going to set it as autoplay. Don't need tap. I'm not going to loop it just once. I'm going to stop at the last image, which happens to be state 2. No crossfit, no other effects required. Alright, so once you're ready on this area here, what I'm doing is because I'm going to let my video play, and after that, the object states will kick in and then it will just stay at the last image and the video will just fade away. You will just show you a demo after this. Alright, so once we're done, I'm going back to the layers panel. I'm going to activate the video layer. I'm going to have to save this file, file, save as. On my desktop, I'm going to create I'm going to call this as cover underscore h. Underscore h is a requirement if you want this page to be a horizontal layout or landscape. Click save. 
Once you have done saving your file, you can go to File and Folio Preview. But I've already done that, so I'm going to just switch you over to the Folio Preview. Okay, using the Adobe Content Viewer, which is together when you have downloaded the digital publishing suite. So this is what you will see. I'll just let you see the demo for a while. The video will kick in and then the object states will just stay at the last state. As you can see, then the object state stays at the last state. So this is what I'm trying to achieve in here. 